Right boards as Fulton now trying to work it out. Feeds Conkle right side. Throws it in front. Tip score! <laughs> P.A. Bureau went right toward the front of the net and got the redirection and picks up number six on the season. It is 1-0 Thunder. By Sean Chewy picks up left corner. And behind the foreman will throw it off the cage. Tipped in front. Score! <laughs> Chris Lawrence... Better that one in out of midair with eight minutes and four seconds to go in the opening period. It's back in from the left wing. It rolls around to the right corner. Cockle keeps it. Well, center to Van Oosten. Wrist shot. Score! With 4.1 seconds to play in the opening period, number four chips in for goal number three of the period for the Stockton Thunder on the power play. their parade of the penalty box. That's got to irk Mark Morrison. Under a lot of power play time. Van Usen high slot shooting. He scores! Steve Van Usen's wrist shot from the high slot deflects off of traffic and right past David Schantz's blocker. Seven minutes and 53 seconds to play in the second period. And the Thunder stretch their lead to 4-0. And Van Usen get the assist on the marker. Underwork went in behind the Victoria net. Hunt will center in front. A shot by Chase Ryan, and he scores! And look at this. David Schantz came right back out in retaliation and nearly battle axes Garrett Hunt as Chase Ryan buries the fifth Thunder goal on the night with 5.34 to go in the second period. All celebration here for the Thunder. But at this point, chaos ensues on the ice. However, Chase Ryan gets number two on the season, and Thunder take the lead five to nothing. Wing as Fulton plays for Lawrence. Angles right now into the offensive zone. In the circle, he waits, fed it in front, tip the Fulton score! <laughs> Lawrence, who threw it on net, got the redirection, and it's scooted right on by the blocker's side of David Schantz. The Thunder lead this one. 6-0. Bound to flex into the right corner. Fulton picks up, spins it back out. Benfeld shot, save, rebound, clear, score! <laughs> Frazier clear, picks up number 15 on the season, banging in a rebound past the blocker's side of Chris Beckford Sue with three minutes and one second to play in the third period. It is a 7-1 Thunder advantage. Extension. It is, of course, subject to review. At the right side, Lawrence shoots. He scores! The hat trick for Chris Lawrence with 1.43 to go in the third period. It's 8-1 to one Thunder. It was a pretty big game for me and the team, actually. Uh, my first hat trick uh, in pro. And um, it's a testament to my line mates and everybody played, played great tonight. So I just uh, got lucky and they, they uh, found me out there. And... Uh, just a great, uh, great win. Early on in the game, uh, Huntsy and uh, Forzy really got the boys going. They got, they got the crowd into it. Basically, a sixth man out there, and uh, just really helped our, uh, helped everyone uh, out there and boosted everyone's confidence. So, uh, those guys are heart and soul guys, and um, they, they did a great job tonight. At this stage, we just got to follow uh, Foreman and Hunt's lead, and and um, just uh, try to battle and uh, take after them uh, every single night. Oh, it was great. Uh, guys came out, fired up, and uh, you know answered the bell, and you know got right into it with a couple of fights, and uh, you know great in our own zone all night, and uh, happy to get the two points. I think uh, you know, uh, like I said, I was able to see the puck all game, and uh, you know our D helped me out when I when I got some uh, left some rebounds, so I just tried to keep the puck in front of me, and uh, you know got those two points. How are you holding up energy-wise right now? Oh, I feel fine. I, uh, you know, get some food in us uh, right now and, you know, get some sleep. And we got a quick turnaround tomorrow at 4 p.m. The fact that we kept plugging away and at times we worked real hard to uh, score some goals. And, you know, we, we it was kind of funny. We had a few guys that were going, like, you know, Chris Lawrence wanted a hat trick. He had never had a hat trick in, in pro hockey. And it was, you know, I think he really wanted that. And obviously you saw it from the celebration. So um, there's a... Uh, 
you know, but the, the guys have certainly played hard, and I think the guys understood they they played hard for Zane, and they you know he's going to go again tomorrow because of our situation. So it was important for us to support him in the third period and not get lazy and and make sure our habits slipped into you know into the poor or below average category. So I like the way that we did compete all the way through the 60 minutes. I, I think you got two teams that are obviously fighting for uh, a lot right now, and uh, you know when I use the word fighting, I guess no pun intended, but the. Um, they came in here and I thought they kind of took it to us last night. We played a very poor game last night and uh, in, a, in terms of our puck management and it didn't allow us to establish any type of rhythm and the type of style that we want to play. So, you know, we had a pretty long meeting in the morning about playing the right way and it's not about fighting it's about playing physical and it's about taking charge of your home ice and it's about making sure that you're going to get a big crowd into the game early and obviously, you know, the guys had the opportunity to do that and, you, and Victoria was you know, willing and obliged, and that's, um, you know, that's just the way the game's played. It's a physical game. These guys are competing for a lot. They, you know, these guys are all looking to prove to everybody that they should be in the next, at the next level, and you know, the guys that need to fight for their careers d did tonight, and the guys that uh, need to score goals did, and it was, uh, you know, I think for us it was a really good all-around game, but I certainly liked the way we started. I liked the way we played through the middle period, and, and I really liked the way we finished. I, you know, we got ourselves in trouble early in the third with the penalties and that, but I thought for the most part we played a very complete game, which we needed because it had been a long time since we had done that.